Well, thank you, Healthline. You've uh, you've really opened my eyes. Um, Jesus, that's stupid. No, everybody, listen and listen very closely. Those hand dryers are great. Please wash your hands and dry them after you use the bathroom. And and I hope you're lucky enough to get a Dyson hand dryer because they're great. I agree. I just this this, this type of shit because again, the bacteria that they're talking about doesn't hurt you. No, of course not. So therefore, if the bacteria does not harm you and can't harm you, is it bad? Or is it helping you build your immunity system? Oh, now don't go talking crazy. Right? Fuck! Um, This is why there's so many bubble babies. You remember the bubble baby from Seinfeld? Those actually exist. You know why? Because of these people. Um, and keep in mind that Healthline is uh, not really like a... It's an internet doctor thing. It's fake. It, there's no, they don't really have... It, it was started by an uh, uh, endocrine specialist in 2006. Um, but it's, it's, it's a revenue-based health information so basically, they get published to say they they publish whatever you want them to publish if you pay them enough. Yeah, but that's every study. He's a he's a diligent he's a digital marketing expert. Oh, guy. okay. And an endocrinologist. Um, well, body fucking dot of him. They're a private owned <laughs> company that's scientifically based. No, you're not. No, Liars. you're not. Out of San Francisco. Just, uh, I just, I just call bullshit. Overall, the Pro Science Medical Information website that scientifically sources its information, uh, factual reporting level is high. That's yeah, funny. Wow. You can look that up, like like their their rating, like how good are these people? They're forty fifth out of hundred and eighty. That's not bad. That's pretty. It's good. It's not though. fucking good though. No, yeah. <laughs> health one provides health and wellness information that's scientifically based. Most articles are written and sourced to medical journals. Overall, this is a pro side. Yeah, no, it's just it, the only one uh, checking voting for those bias. Yeah, no, the only one checking them out is them. That's funny. Yeah. You know when they when uh, they replaced treated lumber because treated lumber used to have uh, used to be treated with arsenic, uh, very high levels of it. So you weren't allowed to use pressure treated lumber on gardens and stuff. It would kill you. Uh, so when, oh. when they changed that, they, they changed it to a different formula now. So when you buy the green treated lumber, it's not you. It's apparently safe. But the only one who's ever done a study on it is Taga, the company that makes it. <laughs> no one else has done a study of it. And they say it's it's perfectly fine. Of course they fucking do. Just like this medical company, marketers. Marketers posing as a medical company. Oh, we say our stuff is 100% legit. <laughs> because there's, you know, companies all over the world will all turn around and admit when they do, when they're doing something wrong, right? Oh, absolutely. They all do. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. And doctors yeah, are, uh, doctors are not easily bought. Just ask tobacco companies. Right? Fuck. How many doctors said, swore up and down that cigarettes were good for you? Well, they weren't bad for you. They would sign medical papers saying cigarettes aren't bad for you and get millions of dollars and live happily ever after. Mind you, all the people that sued the tobacco companies still haven't been paid. Yeah... uh... <laughs> when we get around to doing what you said yesterday was was close the borders and get rid of all the outside influences what the hell do we do with these inside influences 
Line them up and fucking shoot them. You know, I'm really starting to think a Gestapo-style police force is not out of line. Yeah, well, uh, everything has its purpose, and I think that that's one of the big purposes is we should And I can just imagine what people are going to say about this, but speaking of the bubble babies, that's funny that this would uh, go full circle. God, I'm good at that. They have found a vaccine that uh, can restore immunities in these children in a matter of weeks. Uh, And it is an adapted version of the HIV virus. They're injecting these babies with this modified HIV and rebuilding their immune system. They go home inside of a month and they're fine. Really? It really um, it's, okay. it's not it's not widely accepted yet, but it is. You know, these children generally don't live long, um, not nearly <laughs> as long as Seinfeld would have you believe. Uh, and okay. this is a this is a new lease on life for these children, but uh, uh, it involves shooting them up with HIV, which I'm sure the freaks that I hate are just gonna lose their shit over this one so i'm so confused (laughs) the shit like just what the what the shit um that's true i was i was uh listening to a show about it yesterday um and it's a, you know, it's a, obviously it's got it's possibly some risks involved. Sure, yeah. But on the other hand, we're yeah, saving Bubble trouble. Boy, and that's a good thing. Is it though? Well, maybe. I think that we should more eliminate Bubble Boy's parents than just take well, Bubble Boy out of the bubble. I don't think it's their fault when they have these children with immune. They just, they're born with no immunity and they can't build, build them on their own. I will guarantee you it's the fucking parents' fault because they're fucking using that fucking uh, hand sanitizer constantly. Oh yeah, that's they, something to they, fuck you up. They don't, they don't fucking let their kid eat dirt. Um, you ever they don't let them play Mandel in dirt. They don't... That stuff? Huh? Have you ever heard Howie Mandel talk about those hand sanitizers? Oh, well, he's obsessive. He's really bad. Yeah, but he, they ruined his life. He killed all the uh, good bacteria on his hands with them, and now he gets all these weird warts and shit. Yeah. Because he destroyed all the good stuff that, that's on your skin. The, he killed it all at once, you, overusing those, because he's a germaphobe. So, yeah, he, he, he'll tell you, those things are not good. Don't use them all the time. They make it worse. Yeah. Some That's, of the weird yeah, shit well, on our bodies is there for a reason. Well, I think that uh, it's good to see that he has an active fucking uh, brain cell, which is good. He does. Because he's, he's a smart guy. I don't, I don't understand germaphobes. I really don't. Because the more afraid you are of outlying germs, the more sick you become. Yeah, well, I think it's it's, it's kind of a phobia, isn't it? Like, it's it's not based in rationale of any kind no I, yeah I, it is it is a phobia but I, i'm afraid of enclosed spaces it makes no sense an enclosed space can't hurt you there's no 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 it can't getting stuck in an elevator there, there's nothing there in a perfectly stable elevator there's no nothing to be afraid of you could live in an elevator i couldn't yes, you could um there, but there's no, you're never going to run out of air. You've got enough. It'll be a less air, but, you know, not enough to probably even pass out. Uh, you, know, you know, there's no reason to be scared of that. I, uh, but I am. Um, I, I, I assume germophobia is the same. That you're not really, you, if you have, you've got to understand it's not, it's stupid. Yeah, but germaphobes, okay, being afraid of small spaces, 
that doesn't affect your health. No, 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 no. Being a germaphobe actually makes you sick. It well, makes yeah, you I, weak. You're right. I see so the, 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 there's the difference. You know, I mean, like, you know, again, same thing as, uh, you know, being afraid of spiders. Like, I, I live in Canada. There is not a spider in Canada that can fucking hurt me. Even yeah, if it yeah. bites me, it, it's like a mosquito bite. Big fucking deal. I don't fucking like spiders. I see one, I will fucking destroy its life. You know, but you put a fucking spider on me, I will, will fucking scream like a fucking two-year-old girl. Uh, it'd be terrible. Well, to be but, fair, there are black widows in Kelowna. Well, um, there's black widows in Ontario. They get shipped in with the fucking vegetables and shit. They, they can hurt you. No, no, Kelowna, like the Okanagan is famous for their black widows, and they can hurt you. They can't kill you. Um, yeah. You, you might get, like, flu-like symptoms a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. So, I hope you guys heard that. I heard the word Kelowna. Yeah, there's a guy behind me going, I see him all the time in Kelowna. So, see? It's not just me. Oh, there you go. Uh, yeah, but they won't kill you. They, they're very, very small. Um, they, it's a localized pain, if anything, and, and possibly for a small children or an old person might, might get, like, flu-like symptoms. Or a person who has a weak immune system. Yeah. Go eat some dirt. Right. Go eat some fucking dirt. Well, adults, to, to do it because it's funny, but it's not going to help you now. You're screwed. Yeah, no, you, yeah, you know, you gotta do that shit when you're young. Um, that's funny. I don't know. What do we do? My God. Point and laugh at the week. That's what you do. I, at this point, I am, and I'm not pointing and laughing at the week. I'll always stand up for the week. Um, I won't stand up for the weak-minded. weak-minded. No. Yeah, I'm talking weak-minded. I'm not talking about the weak as in somebody who just can't fucking lift their weight, whatever. No, no, no. I'm talking about the weak-minded. They are... A weak-minded person has no value because their life is based off of of stupidity and no logic. Oh, cool. Sorry, I just got a tweet that's very exciting. Um... Speaker.com has teamed up with Hindenburg, which is a very, very cool podcasting company that's very elitist and rich. They're like what radio, they're what people who can afford it podcast with. Okay. So that could mean something for us. I don't know. Uh, Speaker Who names their fucking company after a failed fucking blimp? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, maybe That's it's, just dumb. Maybe it's the same family or something. Um. Spreaker's also uh, started distributing to Google and iTunes. Um, so uh, I, I'm not sure how. I think I have to do it on my. I have to push a button or something. But we could be back on iTunes any minute now. That's exciting. Which gives us accurate um, statistics and stuff. Uh, EricGord.com. If you want to know more about that, I just, I just, I forgot to bring it up at the beginning. Um, so as much as I do love Anchor and the people at Anchor, and I plan on sticking with Anchor uh, for now, um, they're really running out of reasons. Um, Spreaker is just uh, coming up and taking the world by storm, and not, and and they don't own my podcast. That's a good thing. Whereas Anchor claims that they do. Well, they do. Um, for the time being. I say if they claim to own it, then let's see you fucking do what we do. Well, you yeah, don't own it. You promote well, it. Yeah. Well, they don't. Uh, yeah. That's part of the agreement that I signed, though. Um, you signed away the rights to our podcast to them? Like... I, I, when I have, if I use them as a host, as soon as they're no longer our host, then they no longer have ownership of it. Oh, okay. Um, which I I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do about that, and I shouldn't talk about it on the show anyway because they're all listening. Yeah, that's they're, true. They're not listening. They they say specifically they don't listen. <laughs> So they own something that they won't even listen to. That's fine. That, that's kind of a <laughs> thing, isn't it? It's like, wait, wouldn't you check in once in a while to a few of the episodes and just see what people are talking about? I'm sure there's some.